Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss about the intercepts and slope intercept form of a line. First of all, let's see what are intercepts. Consider the straight line L meets the x axis that is this axis at the point A and it meets the y axis at the point B. Then we have the x intercept is OA that is the distance of the point where the straight line A meets the x axis that is, it meets the x-axis at the point A. The distance of the point A from the origin, which is OA, is the x-intercept, which is the intercept made by the line on the x-axis. Now, let's see what is the y-intercept. In this case, the y-intercept would be the distance of the point B which is the point where the line L meets the y-axis. So, the distance of this point B from the origin, which is OB, is the y-intercept. That is the intercept made by the line L on the y-axis. Now, next we discuss the slope or gradient of a straight line. The slope or gradient of a straight line is the tangent of the angle which the part of the line above the x-axis makes with the positive direction of x-axis. Suppose in this figure we have the straight line L and this straight line L makes angle theta with the positive direction of the x-axis. So, in this case, the slope or the gradient of line L is equal to tan theta and the slope is denoted by the letter M. So, for the straight line L, M, which is the slope, is equal to tangent of the angle which the part of the line above the x-axis makes with the positive direction of x-axis, that is angle theta. Next we discuss the slope intercept form of a line. Consider this figure in which we have a straight line L intersecting the x-axis, say at a point A, y-axis at a point B, and this straight line L makes an angle theta with OX, that is the x-axis, and the y-intercept of this line, which means OB, would be C. That is, we have OB is equal to C. And we suppose the slope of the line L given by M is equal to tan theta. Consider a point P with coordinates x, y on the line L. We draw PM 
perpendicular to the x axis that is ox so this is pm perpendicular to ox next we also draw bm perpendicular to pm so this is bm perpendicular to pm as you can see in this figure angle map is equal to theta now as am is parallel to bm so this angle would also be equal to theta that is angle m bp would also be equal to theta now let's consider the triangle pbm so in triangle pbm tan theta is equal to pm that is the perpendicular upon the base that is bm as you can see that the point p has coordinates x and y so this means that pm is equal to y and the distance of the point p from the y axis would be x so bm would also be x now as pm is Y. So this P N would be Y minus C. As O B is C, which means M N is also C. So here we can write that tan theta is equal to Y minus C upon X. As tan theta is M. So this means that M is equal to Y minus C upon X. Further, M X is equal to Y minus C. Or you can say we have Y is equal to M X plus C. So this Y equal to M X plus C is the equation. of the straight line l now as this equation involves the slope m and the y intercept c so this is referred to as the slope intercept form of the line so y is equal to mx plus c is the slope intercept form of a line where m which is the coefficient of x is the slope of the line and the constant c is the y intercept of the line now suppose we are given that slope of a line is given to be minus 2 and the y intercept of the line is given as 7 so this means we have value of m as minus 2 and value of c as 7 so therefore the slope intercept form of the line is given as y equal to mx That is minus 2 into x plus the y intercept that is c, which is 7. So whenever we are given the values of m and c, we can easily write the equation of the line in the slope-intercept form. So this completes the session. Hope you have understood the concept of intercepts and slope-intercept form of a line.